What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a checkout video about Sable, a relaxed open world exploration game combined with a coming of age story. But first I have to mention that this video is sponsored by Raw Fury, the publisher for Sable, as part of their Raw Simber event, which is a festival that they're holding all throughout December, advent calendar style. They are giving away gifts, making announcements, offering discounts, access to demos, all in relation to various indie titles that are already released or are upcoming, which you can check out via the link in the description below. Though if you're unfamiliar, Raw Fury is a Swedish indie publisher for games like the relatively recent Dome Keeper, Sable of course, and the upcoming superhero action RPG Superfuse. But as a publisher, they're really focused on delivering experiences and gaming as an art form as opposed to just game mechanics. And the reason we're taking a look at Sable is because I think that is a game that really exemplifies that. Because a cool thing about this sponsorship, and one of the reasons I decided to take it, was that I could cover just about any game from their catalog, as really what they're promoting here was the Raw Simber event. And while I will have one more to talk about a little later this month, Sable in particular I feel really drives home what Raw Fury is all about, in the sense that they are making experiences. But now that we've got all that out of the way, let's actually talk about Sable itself. Itself. As I mentioned at the beginning, Sable is a game of open world exploration that released last year actually in 2021 on both PC and Xbox. However, just recently it got an update bringing it to the PS5 as well as adding a little bit more content and we'll talk about that update a little more in just a bit as I want to get the basics out of the way first. Sable is a game about exploring and going on a journey as part of a ceremony that welcomes someone into adulthood more or less. This journey is known as the gliding. It's something every person in this world goes through, where they wander the desert areas, traveling from encampment to encampment, talking to people, learning about things, and just figuring out what they want to do in life. And much of the game's systems reflect this. With the game being relatively relaxed, there isn't really any combat, but rather a lot of platforming, puzzle solving, mysteries to uncover. And while the game does seem to be relatively post-apocalypse style, you can find some very high-tech ship wreckage with audio logs that will kind of fill out what happened to the world, why things are the way they are here, and the like. But one of the main purposes of the gliding and the thing you're actually trying to do is discover and find new masks. As I'm sure you've noticed, everybody in this world wears masks. These masks are significant and they signify what that person's role is. Things like guard, machinist, the recently added angler, a few other different things. And you can get these masks by earning badges by doing tasks for the people who have those masks. And then you can trade those badges into a crafter who will then give that mask to you. You can try it out. And whenever you feel like it really, you can go wrap the game up by returning home and ending your gliding, which is a really cool idea for a way to wrap up a game. And as you've also seen on screen by now, I'm sure, you do a lot of this gliding via your hover bike. Early on in the game, as part of the tutorial section, if you will, you piece together a hover bike which you'll be traveling all through the desert wastes with. But it is upgradable and customizable. You can find machinists around the way who can change the color of your bike, the parts. You can find parts as quest rewards or just buy them outright at some point. Same goes with the outfit your character is wearing. There's all sorts of clothes and customizable cosmetics to find and explore in. And then the only other really progression part of it outside of those things is your stamina bar. You upgrade this by finding chums, which are these sort of weird snake-like creatures. And if you bring them back to their queen, you will get stamina upgrades as well as a few other rewards later on that will allow you to climb higher and explore more easily, which all comes together to make for a relaxed relaxing, exploration-based experience. Though, as I mentioned, the game did recently get an update that brought even more to the title, the main thing being the new fishing minigame. Unlike fishing in the real world, fishing here takes place in sand. Once you find a certain NPC who gives you your fishing rod, you can start fishing basically in any sandy area, though near plants is typically where you'll actually catch fish, and you can participate in this minigame to earn the new angler mask, which was added to the game as well. And in addition to fishing to earn that mask, 
You can also use the fish you catch to fill up the vivarium, which is another new area to the game, which allows you to bring all of the various animals and fish you catch to display in the vivarium, which does a pretty good job of highlighting all the fauna that you'll find around. And in addition to those things, the game also got photo mode, which I think is a great addition for a game like this, as well as multiple bug fixes and the usual things you would expect in any patch, really. And like I mentioned, it is also now available on the PS5. But I think that is where we are going to leave it today, as I imagine you get the picture. And that is just one of the many games available from Raw Fury, as they have published a great many well-received indie titles. So remember to check out their Raw Simber event, potentially get some gifts, discounts, demos, upcoming news, announcements, etc. about everything they've got going on as part of their Raw Simber event which you can check out via the link in the description below. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.